through a Fox 23 investigation we've been telling you about for months. People who live in the Berry Hill area are upset that a section of road that's been free will now cost them. We're talking about the new Gilcrease Expressway extension in West Tulsa. Fox 23 Spencer Humphrey has been working to get answers. With the road set to open soon, he looks into why people there are not backing down. Ever since Frank Mason has lived there, we moved over here in 1968. He's always heard about the plan to build the Gilcrease Expressway through Berry Hill as a freeway. We did not want a turnpike through here, but plans change. There are no free roads in Oklahoma. And as construction nears the finish line, driving the road will come at a cost. What we want to do, we want to be treated fairly. Since the early 60s, the plan was to have a public entity like the city of Tulsa, Tulsa County, or ODOT to use your tax dollars to build the five-mile section of the expressway heading west from I-44 connecting to Highway 412. The centerpiece of the project, this massive multi-million dollar bridge over the Arkansas River. And it's that bridge that the Oklahoma Turnpike Authority's Deputy Director Joey Kelly tells me caused plans to change and instead make it a toll bridge. When it was announced in 2015, it was just going to be the bridge. But there was a problem. If OTA built a toll bridge, it needed to connect to the major highways. So we started talking about, you know, who was going to build the rest of it and how would that get done? Uh, who would put in the additional money? E. Kelly says OTA met with various local and state agencies and all said they could afford to pay for it. In 2018, OTA announced it would build the rest of the expressway and open it as a turnpike. Construction started in 2020, but this past March, when neighbors like Melissa Myers saw toll scanners go up on a certain section of the road. And that was the very last thing they did. She and countless others were confused. We were like, what's happening? Confused because that section from I-44 to 41st Street has been open there for decades as a free-to-use, taxpayer-funded, two-lane portion of the future expressway. So that section that was built in the past was a temporary connection. That's not what they said. That is not what we've been told. And then it, here it is. Melissa says they assumed tolls would only be added to those new sections. E. Kelly admits OTA did not initially tell the public where the toll scanners would be located. There was even an opportunity at a town hall attended by hundreds in February 2018. In that uh, presentation that we gave in 2018, we were still analyzing exactly where those locations were going to be. I looked through public meeting records. The only mentions of toll scanner locations I could find that were presented were at meetings between the five agencies agencies involved, one in November 2018 and the other in May 2019. Though open to the public, people rarely attend them. That's the problem is no transparency and no upfront yeah. of what's going on. Fox 23 was there in April as hundreds of people voiced their frustrations at a community forum. The main goal that we have is to eliminate they say having to pay a toll to get to 41st Street means they'll lose their only adequate and safe free access to their community, instead being forced to take side roads. There's no lighting, there's no shoulders, there's no ditches. OTA leaders tell me they did drivers a favor by not tolling you until after the 51st Street exit. Just about as close to that exit as you can get. This Amazon warehouse that as of the day we are recording this is sitting totally empty and unused. They're not going to ever have to pay unless they're having to go make a delivery. So they get to go to their work for free and travel. I asked OTA, why not drop the toll between 51st and 41st and just make the rest of the tolls on the road a bit higher? This particular segment, in order for this road to be here, this is how it had to be done. He tells me the OTA got what's called a TIFIA loan from the federal government that required that section to be told. But people like Melissa and Frank want to know why they weren't told before that loan was taken out. All the decisions were being made behind the scenes, a lot of them without our input. Now state leaders have questions too. On September 7th, a state representative and state senator who both represent Barry Hill sent this letter to the attorney general. In it, they explained the concerns and asked the AG to issue an opinion on if it's, quote, legal for an Oklahoma community's safest, most convenient, and free access road to be converted to a toll road. 
They also ask if there's anything that would prevent OTA from giving people who live in the area a special pike pass to make that stretch free for them. The state representative told me so far the AG hasn't responded. I asked the city of Tulsa and Tulsa County for interviews about this project. The city said no. I thought I was going to interview County Commissioner Karen Keith. She's been heavily involved with this project, but an hour before I was set to talk to her, I received a voicemail from a then assistant Tulsa County district attorney. I'm calling in to let you know that the interview you have scheduled with Commissioner Keith this morning is canceled and, um, and I'm not really sh sure uh, what, what that would do to help you. I also submitted an open records request about two months ago to the city and county. I am still waiting to get those records. I will keep working to find out more about this and I will let you know when I receive those records. Covering news that matters, Spencer Humphrey, Fox 23 News.